Thank you to Shiro Koi for your support on Patreon. And we're home again, home again, jiggity jig. Thanks again for buying some extra stuff, babe. You really didn't have to do that. I'm staying here for an extended period of time, so I have to do something more to help out. You did a lot ex you did a lot yesterday too. I don't think Andrew noticed though. I'm sure he did, but he's not really had the time chance to thank you. We left late this morning, and then we got home from then after we got home from class. Yeah. Mrs. Eyes wandered to your bike and his brow furrowed. Let's put this stuff up and get our date started. Might as well start early, huh? Fuck. Well, uh, let's put this stuff. Let's put our stuff up and get the date started. Uh, we might as well start early, huh? And then fade. Again. Why aren't the bikes outside? <laughs> oh hey, look here. <laughs> A piece of paper was stuck to the front of the refrigerator and it had a message from Andrew written on it. It said, here's my bank account number, get ready to post bail. <laughs> I think this is for you. I'm sorry I didn't get to say it already, but thank you for cleaning up around the apartment. Apartment link. Oh, I really appreciate it. Oh, that's nice. I only hope that Chester might learn something from the example you're setting as I'll be expecting things to stay as clean as you left them. Thank you, Andrew. Ah, oh, that's really nice. Re oh, the L. Oh, they're missing an L and that really nice of him to leave a message for me. What'd I tell you? I knew he noticed it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. His handwriting is really neat, too. Way better than yours. That's Andy for you. Also, fuck you. <laughs> I'm kidding. And from the looks of things, you've made things more difficult for me by being such a good roommate already. <laughs> I guess you're gonna have to be more mindful of the me messes you make. Or the messes we make. He grinned and pulled you in close, pushing you back against the counter. We need to make some preparations for the night's dessert, if you're serious about it. I'm as serious as I can be about it, Chess. What do you have in mind? Well, anal blah, is out of the question for this purpose. I just ended up breaking the condom again, and we'd not have anything to use. <laughs> so you implying we'll be... Ay ay ay! Of course. But you know, I was thinking we could just... Okay! The easiest way to do it would be pretty much what we did in the shower yesterday. And we'll just have to... Okay! Alright! I don't have a problem with that. I think it's hot and we can have fun regardless. Okay, oh, you know what? If this is what we're doing right now, I'm just gonna fucking skip. <laughs> See you afterwards when they're done harvesting the ingredient. They gotta go out to the garden and, and get their apricorn. I don't know. Unlet the fromage! Alright, they jerked it in front of each other, put it in a fucking pan. They put it aside so it can be prepared. That's the that's the scene synopsis. Now they're moving on to the rest of the cooking. That's it. Now let's get started. What should we do? First things first, let's get the rice started. It should be done cooking by the time everything else is ready. Get the container of rice from the pantry. I'll get the rice cooker. It only took a minute before the rice cooker was started and set aside while Chester began his lesson. For you, what we're going to do is lay out all the ingredients first, then we'll talk through the process of making it all and putting it together. Please do not make me click these things. I really, really do not want to make this a mini game. I'll have you start cook cutting the chicken and then get everything else and ready to else out and ready to go. How should I cut the chicken? Cut into bite-sized pieces. You set about your task, and before you were even halfway through, Chester was already done in with his part and hovered around you. His gaze bore down on you, and you slowed down to make sure you were cutting everything as perfectly as possible. So, when you're cutting stuff, make a claw with your hand and hold the chicken. When you, when you claw your hand, you're less likely to cut your fingers and can cut a little faster. What do you mean by that? He leaned his back... He leaned against your back and reached around you to control your hands. Curl your fingers like this so your fingertips are hidden. Are you listening, Link from Retin Link, Mr. In Mr. Morning? 
when you and uh, then when you cut, move the blade like this. Carefully, he guided your hands through the motions until where the remaining chicken was cut up. Well, now he won't be able to do it by himself. You already finished. It takes some getting used to, but if you practice it, you'll get the hang of it. I'll practice as often as you'll let me, which is not at all now, because you finished. You can help me whenever I'm cooking, then. What are we going to do next? Wash our hands and start cooking. You should have washed your hands before preparing the fucking chicken. Now you have salmonella. <laughs> the chicken was transferred into a bowl, and you washed your hands and stood over the stove of chest. Stood at the stove of Chester. We're going to toss the chicken in some cornstarch and saute it with some minced garlic and sesame oil. While that cooks, we'll make the curry. It's really easy to do. So are you ready? Yep. Walk me through it, and I'll take care of it all. With Chester by your side, it was time to start cooking. He walked you through getting the chicken started, and it wasn't long before the smell of the ingredients filled the kitchen. He kept an eye on the chicken and instructed you on starting the curry next. He listened carefully to his directions, measuring out and mixing most of the ingredients into a single bowl. With that ready, he heated up another pot of oil and garlic, added to the, into the curry paste, and finally the last bowl of ingredients. He used a spoon to make sure you scooped the bowl clean, then went to stick the spoon into the pan. Stop right there! What? Should I not stir it? Not with a metal spoon! I don't want your wrist scraping the pot! Silicone whisk with the other spatulas, so use that to really get the, everything mixed up. Uh, okay, might have had that. I might have had. I might have had you add in a little too much peanut butter. So once it's all mixed up, if it's too thick, we'll add some milk to thin it out. It is pretty thick. Add about a third of a cup of milk, then that should thin it out. Your milk or normal milk? Ha 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 ha! Come joke. Normal milk. We could add a couple of teaspoons of the other stuff if you want. Why not? If you're uh, uh, not against it, we might as well. Oh come on! I can't believe we're actually- Okay! I can't say it's something I've ever thought I'd be doing, but I might as well try some new things. We might not even notice it, but I'll let you know if I can tell a difference with this dish. <laughs> okay. He added in the milk and whisked it all together one more time, waiting for it to heat up again. And finally, grab a bag of broccoli from the freezer and toss it in the microwave for five minutes. Once it's done, everything should be, oh, be ready. While that cooks, we'll plate the rice and chicken, well, because it's done too. The broccoli cooked, and Chester guided you on what to do once more. He handed you an empty bowl and pointed it to the rice cooker. Fill the bowl with rice, pl put the plate on top and flip it over. Well, make it look, look nice and fancy. You were pleasantly surprised to, to find a nicely formed dome of rice on the plate after doing what Chester said, so you made a second one and received an approving nod. Looks good! We'll pile chicken on one side and broccoli on the other and we'll slather it all in curry. But one, there's one more critical step before we continue. What's that? You'll need to taste the curry to see if you think that anything else should be needed. I've never had it before, so how should I know? If you taste it and like it, then that means it's good. That's not how the fuck that works. <laughs> He passed you a spoon with a grin. Go on and try it. He scooped out a spoon of the curry, blew on it, and gave it a taste. How is it? It's a really unique combination of flavors, but it tastes great to my untrained palate. Perfect. Just wait until you taste it over something and everything else then. I wonder how different it tastes because of the... Okay. I'll let you know when... Uh, I'll let you know when we sit down to eat. You realize if we make this again without that and it doesn't taste as good, yeah. Let's add the chicken to our plates and finish up. The microwave dinged as the chicken was plated and a few minutes later the plates were covered in mo food and molten curry. Oh man, this smells so good! It sure does. I'm so hungry after having to smell it while we cooked. Turn the table then, it's time to chow down. What's that phrase you say before we eat? Ika maki something? I literally had this in my dream last night. That's weird. Eat the Oh, eat the Dakimas oh, then. Uh, you waited for Chester to take a bite before you did, and watching his face intently while he chewed. You noticed you he noticed you staring and gave you a thumbs up until you could swallow. It's delicious, babe. You did a perfect job. With his approval, you took a bit and nodded in agreement. You're right, it is delicious. You'll be proficient in the kitchen in no time. Proficiency. Ah, oh, that's a level you should aspire to. <laughs> you kind of guided me along each step of the way, though. That's how you fucking learn. 
<laughs> That's all there is to following a recipe, too. One step at a time. Anyone can do it, really. That way to... No? <laughs> it helps... It helps having a good teacher regardless. <laughs> and you won't find one... A better one than me. Except maybe Maria. Herm. She probably has more patience than I do, so that's probably true. You were pretty patient with me tonight. There wasn't much you could do to irritate me either. Watching you cut chicken was painful, but, <laughs> and that, but that's why I showed you how to do it better. It took a lot of practice. It'll take a lot of practice. Yep, it's not something you'll be used to after just one attempt. I'm depending on you then. You can count on me to make you a competent cook. Chester, sh Chester chow down on the food. Spoofy's trying to get up close to the mic. Chester chowed down on the food you prepared, and you felt a new sense of satisfaction seeing how, how much he enjoyed it. Does it, um, taste any different than it normally would? I honestly can't tell. There's a slight aftertaste that I could tell distinctly is that, but it, it the, the initial flavor doesn't seem affected at all. All the other flavors are so potent, it, I think it mutes the flavor of the stuff. Ha ha ha! I can't taste it, period. Oh, that would be so much worse. I... <laughs> SHUT UP! I might be- it- I might be more noticeable with- it might- I- I- oh, it might be more noticeable with the dessert we make, that's a typo. Well, uh, once his plate was cleaned, we went back for a se he went back for a second helping of the rice and curry and devoured it all of it before you finished your second plate- before you finished your first plate. Erp. Hmm, my compliments to the chef on tonight's first- on uh, tonight's feast, there were two chefs. It was fantastic. I would like to retire to the bed for a while for cuddling and belly rubs, if you should f be if 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 you should so be inclined to do so. What the fuck? You know we need to shower and clean up after ourselves first, and we have a dessert to make after that. Mm, you're right. But after we're both free, right? All night. Then we'll make time for that later. It then we'll make time for that later, if you would like to partake of that with me. Man, he's trying so hard and just not cutting it. Of course! Just say of course. What about other plans? There'll be other nights. Of course, Jess. I couldn't think of a better way to spend the evening. Neither can I. We have all night to do whatever we want. I'll go ahead and start cleaning while you finish eating. You did all the c you did the cooking, so it's my job to clean. I'll help as soon as I'm done. No, you take your time and enjoy your food. I'll, I'll, I'll handle the dishes. You earned the break after uh, that fantastic meal. But you did as much as I did. Not true, so stop arguing with me and just do what I say. Pff, fine. Just be wrong and stay there in your wrongness and be wrong. <laughs> You're already on the last few bites of your meal, but when you were done, Chester made you stay at the table and took your plate. Hmm. You sure I can't help? I guess there's something you can do. Oh god. What can I do? Get to the shower. Get Go get the shower started. I'm feeling cr- Ugh, oh, carumba. I'll wipe down the floor and chairs with them cleaner and then finish the other stuffs after we shower. <laughs> Deal. I'm okay with that, so I'll go get things started. You gave his- uh huh, and- okay. That heated up fast. Hey Jess, the shower's ready, and now I will skip this scene. See you after. Okay, so the they're still in the shower, but their conversation is not at all uh, sexual, so I'm hoping this is fine. See, they're just standing there in a room without their shirts on. There is nothing at all impure about this scene. Um... So, it dawned on me while I was cleaning the kitchen, but we still haven't watched one of my most favorite animes ever. Oh? Which one is that? Remember the special event we went to at the con? The one where we got the signed art prints? Uh, kinda. It was for the anime Knights of Thornvale. I wonder who that's a reference to. Couldn't possibly have anything to do with the motherfucker's heart from the screen. I want to make sure the butt is available. There we go. The peach. There we go. <laughs> That's right. We haven't started that one yet. 
feel ashamed for not doing so already. It's one of my top five, so I can't believe we haven't watched any of it yet. To be fair, we've only really watched one series so far, and we haven't finished it still. You gave me so much stuff to watch, and I've barely had time for even to even begin scraping the surface. Well, that's basically... Yeah, that's how it is, man. Well, tonight, we're gonna watch the first couple episodes of K.O.T. The King of Town! I can't do a good King of Town impression. Well, if you practiced more often and you try to do good impressions of the best character on the website, maybe you'd do better at it. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking King of Town. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Maybe if I didn't make PG characters say swears, it would sound better. <laughs> what about Alchemist's Brotherhood? <laughs> oh my god. Alchemist's Brotherhood. Oh yeah, that's a good one. We have like four more episodes in that, so we'll finish it soon. I really want to show you the K.O.T. It's been around for a while, but it's such an inspiration for what I do. If you really want to watch it, we'll watch a couple of them. We won't watch more, but we won't watch more until we finish the other first. It's like opening a carton of milk when there's already one open in the fridge. Ugh, oh, Andy's done that before and it drives me up the wall. Really? I have a hard time seeing him do something like that. Yes! Yes! He's done it several times and when I point it out, he's all... I was scrolling through because I was trying to get past this scene. <laughs> this is gonna be a challenge. It's a classic voice actor thing, trying to do... You can't see it, but the line is... He lowered himself to try to match Andrew's height and with his best impersonation of his brother. It's a classic voice actor trick to try to take one of your voices and do an impression of one character doing an impression of another of your characters. So I have to try to do this character, Chester, doing an impression of this character, Andrew. Which is incredibly weird because this part of the throat is not at all guttural. It is way up high, and it, it, it's very high voiced, and it goes for the back of the throat, whereas Andrew also has high, but it is, it is, it, it has gravel in it. So there is no, there is no um, back of the throat action. You're just using your cooking anyway, so what's the big deal? That's Chester doing it. You're just using your cooking anyway, so what's the big deal? That's Andrew doing it. Cause he's not a fucking voice actor. You gotta remember that. Chester's not a fucking voice actor. So he doesn't know placement of fucking voice, but he is a, his brother. So he'd be more familiar with his brother. He's also kind of mocking him. You'll just use it in your cooking anyway, so what's the big deal? You know, you kinda, you kinda got that, and you kinda got that. You can kinda hear them both, but it also really doesn't sound like either of them. I don't know. You'll just kinda, you, you'll just... <laughs> I just, I can't fucking do it. I'm not talented enough. Like, you little bastard, I'm bigger than you, so I can chuck you out the window. <laughs> Yes, that's your brother. Be nice. I love him, but he has his flaws too. Yes, I'm sure he does. Getting back on track here. We're definitely, we'll definitely finish Alchemist Brotherhood. We can watch two episodes tomorrow and the other two this weekend. Then we'll focus fully on KOT. Maybe you like it. I even have the manga that picks up from where the anime leaves off. I love that. We'll see about that when we get there then. I hope you like it. If you don't, I'll be devastated. <laughs> well, I haven't disliked anything you've shown me yet, so I'm sure I'll like this one too. That is not the anime experience. <laughs> we'll eat our dessert while we watch them. Then we'll play Beat Paradise. If we get bored of that, then I'll show you some of the basics for coding things like Reggie suggested. There's so much we can do. Uh-huh, we'll do as much as we can tonight. But I want to enjoy the shower with you just a little while longer. He brushed wet hair out of his out of your face and smiled at you. 
I have some more time before I'm a wrinkly prune. There's plenty of more of you to watch, so turn around and let me handle the back. And this is where I have to skip again. Because they are talking about showering stuff. And that's too saucy for YouTube. Fuck me. Now we're on to dessert making. Here we go. So what kind of dessert are we making again? It's a caramel cream custard dessert cream caramel cream custard. We'll make a caramel sauce custard and then a chocolate sauce custard cream caramel caramel custard cream sauce dessert. Sounds complicated. It's not, <laughs> stupid ass. Shut the fuck up. And I'll be here just like I was for dinner. This is what you originally wanted to use the stuff for, isn't it? Yeah, it goes into the custard. The custard. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay, then. I'll stop by making the caramel to line my ramekins. What the hell are those? I don't know. I'm not- I'm, I don't want to learn! I just want to play games. Then make the custard to pour into that. While that cooks, we'll watch an episode of K.O.T. That's NOT WHAT WE AGREED ON! We're gonna watch Brotherhood of Bullshit, and then we're gonna watch The King of Town. That's what we said! Don't fucking go against what we agreed on, you lying sack of moo! And make the chocolate sauce to finish it off. You ready to do this? Yep. You gonna put your apron back on? Nah, it needs to be washed before I wear it again. I'll start- I'll start the clothes before we game. He took you step by step through the process of making a caramel sauce, and then the special custard. Now, I've not made this one yet, so I don't know when the STOP IT will come- will change the taste. I got this from the- the Lixier book I told you ab about, and it's like a normal custard just with the stuff. Sounds like you can cook anything and just add the stuff to it if you want. You could, but I feel like it loses, uh, uh, the exotic appeal if you do that, though. True. It didn't take long for the desserts to be poured into their prepared dishes and popped into the oven. See how easy that was to do? You handled it all like a pro chef that time. I bet you could have made it all by yourself. It was easier than I thought. But you would have probably burned the caramel since uh, you had the heat on high. It's a good thing you noticed. Okay, there is that. And we wasted an egg when you tried to prepare the yolk from it. Separate the yolk from it. I've never done that before. You can just buy egg whites. Then you- Okay, okay, I get it. I still suck in the kitchen. Jesus Christ. It's kind of rude. It's been rude several times today. Oh, you did great. You should be proud of yourself after I list all of your shortcomings. Aw, oh, come on. Let's go watch an ep episode one of KOT while we wait. It's not what we agreed on. You can use me as a cushion and we can get all snuggly on the couch. He pinned you against the counter with his belly and danced around. <laughs> okay. Just rolled over the back of the couch and pulled you down on top of him. His fur was beyond soft after his shower and the fragrance of the shampoo lingered on it. You ran your fingers through the soft, short fur and rubbed your face into it. I take it you're comfortable? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so let's see why you like this anime so much. I promise you're gonna be begging me to keep watching it. One of his hands rubbed against your back while he worked the remote with the other. For nearly half an hour, you became engrossed in the new show while receiving only minor commentary from Chester throughout. The animation seemed dated compared to what he had been showing you, but a clever mix of comedy and action kept you entertained. An alarm in the kitchen went off before the episode ended, and Chester left you on the couch to finish it while he checked the dessert. You were sitting, sitting on the edge of the couch as it came to an end, and Chester rolled back over the couch and landed behind you before you could get up, giving you a soft place to lean back against. So, what'd you think? If we didn't set a limit, I would be stuck in the couch all night watching this with you. See? It's so good! I can understand why you like. I can understand why you like it so much. Just from the first episode, I feel like I'm hooked. I'll watch another one while we have dessert. Is it ready? Almost. It needed a few more minutes. Uh, it made the. Ch I made the chocolate sauce while it was in there too. Just a simple mixture of cream and chocolate, and I had the microwave. Huh. Can't wait to taste it. 
Well, there's one little thing I overlooked about the dessert. What's that? We're supposed to let them chill in the fridge, which could take a couple more hours. But... We're not gonna do that, are we? No. It won't set like it's supposed to, but it'll still taste good while it's hot. Besides, there are six of them in there, so we'll chill the other four for later. You can decide if you like it warm or cold. And hopefully Andrew won't eat one, because, you know... Ah! That would be horrifying! Genius idea! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yes, very much. He cannot eat them, he says. We just have to make sure Andy doesn't see them. He cannot eat them. Oh, no, we do not want that at all. I'll hide them in my lunchbox, since he never messes with that. Good idea. Speaking of him, when will he be home? Unless he gets sent home early, because he's upset. You know, you never plan on that. Don't know. You don't know?! Jesus, we're standing out in the living room with our fucking undies, cooking jizz. Jesus. No, I think he went in at two, so it might be midnight before he gets back. Jeez, he works some long shifts. He does, but he really gets into what he's doing. I don't grab too much about his long shifts since he loves to work. As long as he's happy and healthy, I'm okay with it. Mm-hmm. Another alarm went off in the kitchen, and Chester bounced his belly forward to have you move. They should be ready, so let's go see. You stood, and Chester followed, but he grabbed you from behind, kissed your neck, and his hands held your sides. When you thought you two would be, when you thought you were about to be wrapped in his arms, he tossed you onto the couch instead and barreled into the kitchen without you. Ooh, they look perfect. The custard had a light golden color and jiggled a little when the dish was tapped. <laughs> Jiggles kind of like your butt does. Got up. We'll use one. We'll use one for testing purposes and see how it tastes before pouring the chocolate on. He passed you a spoon and pour, 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 pour pointed to the dessert. Careful though, cause it's still hot. Your spoon sunk into the soft, steaming treat, and after a few blows to cool it down, into your mouth it went. Just a grin, seeing your eyes roll back, and he took your spoon and took a bite. Mmm, another job well done, babe. This is delicious. If I didn't have any self-control, there wouldn't be any left by the end of episode two. You kinda taste the stuff in it this time, and it has a stronger aftertaste. I get the aftertaste this time. It's kind of weird, but the custard is still really good. Well, it was interesting to try. I'll we'll have to test the other recipes and see if it alters anything. I'd be down to try. Let's add the little chocolate to this one and finish eating it. Then we'll take one to the living room and watch episode two while we eat. Alrighty. Dessert was eaten, anime was watched, and... Mm, Oxford Karma! And the kitchen was thoroughly cleaned before you retired to his kitchen to play the game he bought earlier. You made absolutely no effort to stop those last two episodes from playing. You were so into it I couldn't stop myself. I'm happy you were enjoying it. Sneaky of you to leave me there while you cleaned too. You never even noticed I was gone. I most certainly did. How could I not miss this, uh, miss this being all over me? He said that and grabbed his squishy sides, shaking him around. Well, you'll, you'll have it all over you again soon enough. For now, I challenge you to beat Paradise. I've been waiting for this. I'm going to give you a run for your money on this one. Hey, little attention to continuity here. Let's see how long that confidence holds out. He threw- Oh no, is McAfee gonna- Fuck off! The goddamn giant ass McAfee fucking bullshit pop-ups. He threw you onto the bed and tossed you a controller while he set up the game. When the bouncy music of the game started, he plopped down next to you where you were lying on your chest. Please don't be a minigame. Don't expect me to go easy on you either. It's a rhythm game, so there's only so much that you have to do. 
That means that you have no advantage over me. What the fuck does that mean? Of course there's advantages that he could have. He said that he that they've like bundled it all together and ported it. He was that and he indicated that he was familiar with it before, so he might know the songs already. So he might be familiar with it already. Two, you could just have natural rhythm. Nah, that could be another advantage. What the fuck are you talking about? Saying you don't can't have an advantage over you just because it's a rhythm game. That's some pious shit you just said, you fucking asshole. Fuck you for limiting. That 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 was classist. So try not to get angry when I start beating you. Fuck you. You better not be sore when you don't win either. Won't bother me any. He positioned himself on his belly beside you and pressed his shoulder against yours as the games got underway. You started off playing the tutorial with him to get an understanding of how the game was played, and after that, you dove right into the versus games. Chester was confident in his ability to win, and his confidence was well-founded as he beat you in the first few games. Three up for me, what's going on? I'm getting there, don't worry. You better enjoy these victories while you can. Mm-hmm, I'm gonna enjoy this and many more. Why don't you put your controller where your mouth is? I will. The very next game, you barely squeezed out a victory, overtaking Chester at the last second as you bumped your shoulder into his. You cheating little bastard! I had that until you hit me! I don't know what you're talking- Fuck you! I don't know what you're talking about. I had a sudden cough and couldn't help myself. Aha! Uh -huh, I'm sure that's what happened. He got his revenge, using his tail to tease you enough to where you weren't able to keep up. Blasted tails have a mind of their own. <laughs> Things went back and forth after that. The victor of the following rounds ended up being whichever person got off the most subtle distractions. And the number of games you were winning caught up to Chester's. Okay, that's it. I'm done with this. Or, er, I... I'm sorry, I didn't... Chester didn't say anything, and he re repositioned himself where he was now lying on top of you, his chest and stomach now to your back. What, what are you doing? Let's see if you can keep winning when you have no way to tease me. Oh, man. Okay, this is actually really cute. That's actually really cute. I like this. I mean, there's blatant some sexual tension ta energy here, but this is actually really cute. Look at them like gamer boyfriends. This is so cute. You're gonna lose blood circulation in those hands like immediately, but like still, look at them playing their swap, aka the switch, but still. That's so cute. Oh, that's how it is, huh? You're only winning because you keep prodding at me. So now that you so now that you can't, you'll see that's not the reason I've been winning. Uh-huh. You couldn't bear to admit it, but this is a new level of distraction that struck heavily at your focus. I'm not crushing you, am I? I'm supporting myself a bit. No, I'm okay. The weight is the last thing on my mind. Okay, good. I'll crush you in game, but I don't want to crush you in real life. I'll be fine. Chester's talk hardly backed up his playing, as he seemed to be doing worse in this new position. You could hear frustrated snorts coming from him as he missed his beats, and it turned, on, turned to him resorting to dirty tactics. Hey, what are you doing? He hummed against you in tune with the music, timing his thrusting near perfectly with the press of his buttons. I don't want to skip this scene. This is funny and cute, but this is also literally dry humping. Damn it, I don't want to fucking skip this. This is fun, but YouTube's gonna fucking shoot me in the face. All the movements did was throw you off, ruining your combos and causing his score to climb over yours. <laughs> See, look at that. I told you I'd win. Yeah, cause you were dry humping me. I was dancing with the music, so I don't know what word you're talking about. Another round started, and the same thing happened. You had something in mind to counter him as he put a little extra force into it after seeing what you, seeing you hold your own. <laughs> you, uh, 
you played along. I, I'm not going to voice that because that definitely would play it into it. But uh, that that is a good counter. That's a good counter. <laughs> Your response made him slip up and drop his weight down heavier against you as laughter shook through him. <laughs> he made no effort to recover that round and just giggled while watching you finish with mom. <laughs> oh man, I wasn't expecting that at all. I still have my ways of dealing with you. And I gotta say, this is like the most personality I've ever seen out of the main character's expression. Like, seriously. And the entire game, I think this is the most, like, human I've ever seen the main character look. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's something that I can identify with, but... I don't know, all the other times, he's just sort of, like, looked like... Art? Not like, oh, he looks like a masterpiece. I mean, like, literally, he just looked like a picture. But, like, right now, he just... He just, I don't know. And I might just be forgetting another CG that I've seen that I really like. There's been a lot of fucking amazing CGs. And not just including the sex scenes, but, like, really touching and really cool CGs throughout this entire game. Really, I gotta browse the gallery at some point. Just make that a fucking episode. But, um absolutely incredible but in terms of just looking at the main character right now he's got so much fucking expression and just i just really like this i don't know i'll expect it now so i won't work anymore for a couple of games you both behaved but sure enough just resumed his teasing as soon as you took the lead it was more subtle this time as he gently groaned himself against you but it did nothing to help him win it was clear to you he had... Uh, and you could feel it. Uh -huh. I think you're starting to distract yourself more than me, Chess. I think so, too. I totally lost the last few games. If you want, we could always... Hey, guys! I'm home! What are you up to? Mm -hmm. And you paused in the hallway, looking through the open bedroom door, and then he kept walking without another word. It's not what it looks like, Andy! He rolled off you, his boner <laughs> clearly visible and wet, and he blown a pair of pants before stomping down the hallway. Andrew, you have the worst timing. <laughs> Your underwear was wet from Chester, and it wasn't enough to warrant you change. But it wasn't enough to warrant you changing them. You just stayed on the bed and kept playing the game until Chester returned. Couldn't have walked in at a worse time. I don't know. Imagining him walk imagine him walking in before dinner. Okay, that could have been a billion times worse. That would have been a billion times worse. At least he let me explain what was going on. Oh, you were only grinding your wet meat against me while implying that we should do something more other than playing games. That's not what I told him! I just told him I was on top of you because he kept, you kept cheating at the game, so I was trying to stop you. <laughs> That's a better explanation. He kicked his pants off and fell onto his back, and you took the opportunity to... Uh-huh. You ready to get back to losing? He snorted loudly and kicked himself back up to where he was sitting on the foot of the bed. Bring it on. You played another hour! Neither of you taking advantage of the other. Chester proved to be the superior player when it came down to it, as he should be. That is his character. Okay, you won most of those. But only because I'm starting to get sleepy. Got good excuse. It's not an excuse! I'm really tired. I had so much fun with you today. I'm starting to feel, feel all we did. I guess I can believe that. We have done a lot today, and it is getting late. You about ready to turn in for the night? We can cuddle and talk until you fall asleep. You promised to rub my belly, too. <laughs> I guess I can't argue against that. Come on, let's get ready for bed, then. Chester ran his fingers through your hair and kissed your cheek, nuzzling into your head. Today's been mostly perfect with you. I'm glad we got to do this. It has not been mostly perfect. <laughs> Me too, Jess. I love you so much. 
I wish we could spend every day like this. Every day like this. I think you'd get sick of me eventually. <laughs> That'll never happen. I'm the one that would have to worry about that, because I know I can be a bit of a pain sometimes. You've put up with so much since we got together, and you have no idea how thankful I am to have you in my life. Aw, oh, Chess. I'm so lucky to have someone so sweet as my boyfriend. You pulled his forehead to yours and kissed his snout. I love you, Chester. Love you too, babe. His eyes were wet when he pulled away, and after rubbing the back of his hand over his face, he got up to go to the bathroom. Let's brush our teeth, then we can get to bed. You know, the fact that this route is putting so much effort on making sure to say they brush their teeth makes me think that none of the other characters brush their teeth. <laughs> Except Harold, I think he did that a couple of times, but nobody else seemed to say it. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is it? That one ball is still in the fridge! Jeez, what am I going to do with him? <laughs> yeah, there he is. Chopping a carrot. Thank you very much for uh, being here and for putting up with me and for watching and listening to all of the stuff I've been saying and for uh, watching this uh, many episodes of Day 32 of Chester's Route. On the next one, we'll be uh, reading Day 33. And who knows what the hell will be happening? We, we, we never know. We never know what the fuck will be going on. But until next time, I have been trained a professional, Vivian, and I will talk to you next time. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye.